Hey, this is Sean with the Pop-Up Homestead. I'm gonna show you our chickens today. I'm gonna show you the water, we're gonna get some eggs, we're gonna hang out with them for a couple minutes. Look at all them beautiful girls hanging out. We got, of course, we got our two boys. We got Phoenix right there. And then that's Red Rover. Look at all the girls, they look so good. No molting, they're all laying fantastic. Everything's working. So, let's take a look. Oh yeah, looky there. It's like a gold mine, look at that. Love it. And then once in a while you see, see in the inside, once in a while they lay them inside. But yeah, this is a good harvest here. Yeah, it's a nice harvest. Look at that. Nice, colorful eggs. That's great. Great harvest for a couple days. Like I said, like a gold mine. So, let's take a look at the water catchment. Um, it's only, I only put one gutter up so far. So, this back, the largest roof, one gutter. And then a corner downspout and a flexible corner right into the water. You can see the chickens. They all seemed to like it. Didn't have to really even show them. And uh, they just picked up on it right away. One of the cups fell out once, but then I sealed it in a little better. And it's been fantastic. There he is. He's got a lot to say, usually. And then he's got a partner in crime over there. They both do. Let's see. But see, this side over here is going to have a gutter also. And that'll help stop the drip when you go to get eggs when it's raining. But I'm going to put another barrel right here, right next to this one. So then we've, we're going to have both of them full. These are only 35-gallon drums. So they're not the largest drums. But they, I think that's going to be all the water we're ever going to need for the chickens. The only time is in the winter... In the winter, I really believe that the cups will freeze. Um, that's we'll, we'll see, um, but I think they're probably going to freeze. So we'll have to have a, maybe a couple months um, or periodically, you know, code spells, some kind of a heater either in these, a heating element that we can get, tractor supply or other co-ops, um, or maybe have a heated water inside. And I want to stay away from the water inside. So we'll see. We'll see what, what happens come winter. And we'll see how these things work. I think the cups will probably freeze. But So there's five cups on there. You can see they just go up and hit that. Makes the water come down through there. It's awesome. And it's been raining a lot. It's totally full. You can see. And I cover this up just so the sun sun doesn't hit the water and to, to cause more algae growth. So we're going to get some, but if we uh, keep it covered, it helps eliminate it. And then that way, if I have well, once I have two of them, then we'll be able to completely dump one out, clean it out every so often. We'll clean them, and so we always have one full and one you know working. So, um, but yeah, uh, fantastic. Super exciting to tell you about the this chicken water. I mean, we've done chickens for, well, over 10 years. And I don't know, in New York, it would have been a longer period where we couldn't have used it. But still, in the summer, th this is a no-brainer. A total no-brainer. I wish we'd have done it a long time ago. Um, you know, far bef for, before we got here. But now we got it. So it's um, it's awesome. It's um, completely hands-free. Uh, uh, other than, you know, cleaning it out ever so often. Um, it's just going to be just, <laughs> I agree, Phoenix, it's going to be awesome. So that's it. The water containment is done for the chickens. And then, uh, sometime this summer, I'll end up putting the other one on this side and then they'll have a, a backup, but, uh, it's great. And the chickens love it. So, all right, another task done at the pop-up homestead. Right. That's Phoenix signing off.